Good morning. How are you? Fine. Okay. Can I have your resume? Your name? My name is Mr. Sayabisha. Where are you from? I am from Ayurveda. Okay. So tell me about yourself. Firstly, I would like to thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is B. Sarabhishek. I am from Hyderabad. I completed a degree in Arbor Degree College in BSc, MACS. Mm -hmm. uh, my students are, I can easily interact with people and positive in thinking. So, and I am also hard working. And my strength is uh, mainly I am easily interact with people. And my long term goal is to get a job in uh, to well settle after few years mm -hmm. uh, in a respectable position. And my short term goal is to get a job in a reputed company. And my hobbies are playing cricket and cavalry to be physical fit. Okay. That's all about. Who is your favorite cricketer? My favorite cricketer is Virat Kohli. Okay. Why? Actually, he is uh, in. Uh, very aggressive and he can play very well. He is playing defense and uh, his shots are very excellent in playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually he is also called as a run machine. Okay. But, what do you have learned from him? Uh, he takes way, uh, every time he loses but he takes it as a positive way and makes his decision uh, clear and to improve himself in next match. Okay. What are your strengths? My strength is I can easily uh, interact with people uh, mm -hmm. and I am in positive uh, in decision making. Yes, positive in decision yes. making. Okay. What are your weakness? My weakness, uh, I trust people easily. You trust people easily. Okay. Uh, are you comfortable with which programming language? I think I have seen in your resume you are comfortable with Python program. So rate yourself in Python out of 5. You can rate it uh, 4. 4. Okay. That's fine. So what is dictionary in Python? Dictionary, the another collection of set of key and value pairs is known as dictionary. Mm -hmm. The each uh, key and value pair is an item. Mm -hmm. the, uh, in this uh, dictionary, uh, the, uh, in the dictionary, the keys are uh, immutable and uh, values are mutable. And mm -hmm. this dictionary is also known as associative, associative array. Okay, how you can represent the dictionaries? We can represent it with curly braces. Curly braces. Okay, uh, differentiate between append and extend. Append is used to add in elements at the end of the list. Whereas uh, extend, uh, it will create sublist in the list. Mm. Uh, when we uh, add elements, mm. uh, the element forgot it. Okay, differentiate between del and clear. Uh, del is used to delete the element of the of the list. Mm. Uh, uh, clear is used to, we, uh, when we use the clear, the entire list will be clear. Uh, uh, elements will be cleared or elements, entire, el elements will be, will be cleared, cleared, but the structure is same. same. Uh, you need to maintain the clarity. Uh, next. Uh, in, uh, when we, uh, after deleting, the structure is available in the uh, clear, but not in the del. Del. Okay. Uh, by using del keyword on index basis can we delete the elements from the list no. can we take indexes uh, we can take and we can delete the index basis okay uh, that's fine okay so what is the difference between uh, remove and pop uh, remove is to remove the ele element of the particular element in the list whereas uh, pop is used to give indexing value and deleting the indexing position of the element. Mm. Uh, uh, in Remo, uh, uh, we, we, uh, we Can we remove the element at the end of the list or uh, can we give index position? Uh, we cannot give but we can uh, give the value of the particular element. Element, element which is present in the in list. The list. Okay. Uh, so what is the difference between dictionary and set then? Uh, dictionary is a, another set of uh, key and value pairs. Uh, 
set is a another uh, pair of uh, another another collection of set item is known as set. Dictionary is very uh, faster to give the retrieve values, whereas set is slow. Very set is slow. slow. Okay. Uh, so what is encapsulation? Encapsulation means wrapping of uh, data uh, and element uh, and method in a single unit is called encapsulation. Um, encapsulation is also called as class object. The best example is class. Uh, uh, encapsulation, the main advantage is to um, we can use same names of the members of different classes. Okay. So what is method overloading? Method overloading, one or more uh, items giving same name and uh, different in arguments and different in ele uh, elements is called uh, elements are parameters pa are. parameters mm -hmm. is known as method overloading you are feeling tense there mm -hmm. feel comfortable and uh, say confident okay uh, what are doc strings in python doc string. uh, the convenient way of associating the of document with modules classes and methods is known as doc string there are two types of doc string, one line doc string and multi line doc multi -line string. Doc in string. one line, uh, the whole method is write in one, one line, and in the multi line, we can uh, write at the place of a uh, function. Okay, that's fine. So, what is meta class? Meta class, class having another class is called meta class. In this, we use type function to give the class class name. Oh, what are cl custom meta classes then? Uh, custom meta class, uh, I have to inherit the type meta class and usually override. Mm. Uh, we use, uh, to uh, create class, we use the special of type function in the type custom meta class. Custom meta class. Okay, uh, in type to function, what are the parameters we can use? We, can use we are having three parameters, right? What are the three parameters we can use in meta class? No idea. Okay, how you can represent the doc strings? Uh, double underscore in it, double underscore. In you are telling the methods how we can represent them. If you want to write a doc strings in the program. Yes. How you can write on the doc strings in the program? Okay. So write on your program to check whether the two strings are anagrams or not. Okay, write down. Anagrams means uh, having we can uh, give the word and uh, with same name we can recreate another word. So first uh, Why we are using input function there? Uh, when we use input function, we can give whatever the word we can. Mm. From where you need to take the words? We have to take uh, our own. From where you are uh, taking input keyboard? We use, we use uh, first we use uh, length and next uh, we use the sort method. Hmm. So, if length is not equal to uh, this to print not an anagram. Hmm. Not that. Else, if you miss the column, for if condition also you miss the column. Length S1 not equal to length of S2. Column, keep a column. Ah. Else, if uh, sort of. Again you are missing the column. 
डबल इक्वल टू आ इक्वल टू ना Again, you are missing the column by syntax mistakes. Quotations close. Okay. So your technical round is completed. Do you have any questions to ask me? No. Okay. Uh, what are your salary expectations? Based on the market value, uh, uh, the, how much I can get. Okay. Why need to hire you? Uh, uh, firstly, uh, I, uh, I am a self-motivator and positive in making and decision can make a positive and easy way. Mm -hmm. so, my qualities can match your okay. okay can i assign work on saturday and uh, saturdays and sundays are you willing to work in weekends yes ma'am no, i am willing to work in okay your interview is completed for further information our hr will contact you thank you